What it do, what it do, gang, I'm back. So, yesterday, man, I went, uh, took my carpet off, my cutlass, because it was doing a little putt-putt. But then I called a guy I knew that fixed cars and do LS swaps. Told me, you know, he can rebuild it. I'm on my way to pick that up now. Hopefully that'll, that'll uh, stop the problem. So, uh, man, y'all just stay tuned, man. I'm gonna bring it back home, put that thing on. Go from there. All right, man. I'm pulling up to the shop, man, for to pick this old carburetor up, man, and see what he' talking about up in here. Put, I put everything in. That's the old one. That was the front pump. That one was still working. Is a little bore. See your rear one? I'm lubricating this so up free up. See. Okay. That one's been in there, ain't been doing nothing for a long time. I put some oh, okay. on it. But probably. Oh, this is another thing. Power valve was probably the main culprit. Like you got carburetor for days over there, don't it? Yeah, like never found a kit for it. Oh, really? All over kind of. Um. Gaskets went back in. That's just okay. left over. Cool. They send you enough shit to you. Right. An old needle seat in the back. It still was probably working, but I'll okay. put you in there anyway. Okay, good. Yeah, I put a whole kit. Like I say, I normally keep all that in bulk. I don't know if your tuner has a limiter on it or not. I'm not sure. That's what happens to most of these late model motors. It's gonna be a big difference. I guarantee you it's gonna be a big Yeah man, just left man. This it's a cool guy man. So this guy thing, LS swap, rebuild motors. I'm talking about tear them down, you know what I'm saying? He right in Jackson, man. So if y'all in the Jackson area, come over here. Y'all comment if y'all wanna, you know, if y'all in the area, man, if y'all wanna get y'all motor rebuilt, LS swap, any really uh, reasonable on the price. But like I said, bro, he do everything. And I bring my stuff over here, let him work All right, on man, I know it's a little dark, but man, I'm out here. I got my car on and everything, you know what I'm saying? Y'all seen the video of the thing running. She doing what she's supposed to do, then. Like woo, doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. it'll make that little that little noise. That doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm trying to figure out what is that. Also, when it's just idling, when it's sitting down, when it's sitting still, if I go to a red light stop sign, it'll like it's getting too much gas, like it, like it's trying to uh, flood a little bit. So it's almost like it, it trying to cut off. So I have to like hit on the gas a little bit. Now, now I'm to the point where I got to keep my feet on the, I mean on the gas and the brake, just so it won't cut off, so it can keep idling. For the crank this thing up real quick, man. Paint coming soon too. By the way, I ain't gonna let y'all know the color yet, but the paint coming soon. I know y'all tired of seeing this ugly red. I Paint coming soon. Good. It's doing better though. This thing's been a fucking nightmare. 
What year this is? 1970. You sound real good though. You rebuilt it? Well, I was telling you about the story. We had his motor rebuilt in Alabama, charging $4,000. Oh, All they did was pull the motor out, took the oil pan off, put a rear seal in it, and down, down, down. That's still to do it? It's better. Oh, it's better. Yeah, better I put no set of hairs on yes, today. Yes, today. Just today. Yesterday and today. He said that's nothing better. Just the original motor you said? Yes, yeah, original motor. Hey. The AC won't act as it. Some of these old cars shit goes acting stupid on them. Come on, clean. Right now, I'm trying to break the green again. Oh, yeah, man, I just left way over there. Felt like someone right with my car, but shit. I think he straightened it out a little bit. You know what I'm saying? He did what he had to do a little bit.